Testing, testing, one, two, three, can you guys hear me now? This is plugged in. It's plugged. But uh, since you didn't hear me, welcome Sonic Fizz and Scruffy Matt. We'll get started in just a minute. Give folks a few more minutes to show up. Since we're starting a trifle bit early. See if they have anything interesting to sell. Not doing anything any too anything too impressive tonight uh, or rather right this second just because I wanted to get some of the boring stuff out of the way before we get on with the main mission I'm doing fine Scruffy hope you're doing just as well if not better is there anything to loot up here talking about boring stuff it's not boring it's engaging it's seeing the breadth and width of the universe. Meet interesting people and 
try to talk to them. And get gobbledygook in response. This is No Man's Sky, Sonic Fizz. Uh, think of it as Minecraft in space. We are playing on a permadeath file where if anything goes wrong, and boy howdy can it, uh, everything is gone. All of our progress, the ship we have bought, or salvaged I should say, the weapons, all the progress out the window. Just to add a little bit of interesting stakes to it all. Just so it doesn't, you know, watch me blunder around pointlessly. Ah, uh, yeah. New Doctor Who. Is that uh, the series premiere, Scruffy, or is this just new episode? I've not been keeping up at all. Uh, Sonic Fizz, the point of the game is to... Mine stuff with your mining laser to build stuff so you can go places so you can mine stuff with your mining laser So you can build stuff repeat There's a lot of customization stuff That we haven't dove into because we're still at the fairly early stages of the game I keep running in and out because I Don't want to freeze to death and this is a very very cold planet Okay Scruffy Matt episode 2, you say? And, uh... We'll talk about that a little more in just a second. Because officially, welcome to Bumblecast Gaming. I'm your host, Ian Flynn, the Bumble King. And we're doing a little bit more of No Man's Sky. Welcome Sonic Fist 77 to his first Bumblecast. Scruffy, give your assessment on the new Doctor Who. And we are going to continue on the main quest so we can do more stuff. Um, let's see, unlike the other life forms I've met so far, this one speaks in a language I understand. Checks his fingernails despite he's wearing gloves! And yet I cannot comprehend the meaning they speak as if they do not know what they are saying, as if their mind is not their own. The alien offers me a blueprint, a means to construct my own antimatter. Gimme, 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 gimme. Take the antimatter blueprint. Whoever is leaving this trail has some design, but what it is, I cannot fathom. There is nothing to do but continue to follow. All right, we need chromatic metal and condensed carbon, which I believe we can make. If I can find the right refiner. Yeah, all right. So put that there. And we're going to put in... How much carbon do we have? Da, da, da. We don't have... Urgh. Menus. We don't have a ton, but that's okay. Right? Right? We have nothing to run on the thing. Okay, never mind. We are just going to pick this up. We're going to pick this up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Actually, pick up the thing, and suit. Alright. Uh, just your take on the current Doctor. I know everyone's got their favorite, but... Uh, my experience with New Doctor Who was... Like, two or three episodes of Eccleson, and that's it. So, you know, there was a lot of fru ha, -ha because... Oh my goodness, it's a female doctor! Because that's apparently a big deal. So, what is your assessment of her? Is she a cool doctor? Does she need time to be the doctor a bit more before one can even say? I like Eccleson. I... Oh, right, we gotta analyze things. Ah. Scan the thing. I'm freezing. Scan the thing. Alright, we discovered a thing. And we've already ticked off a custodian or whatever it's called. Cool, cool, cool. I will have to give it a shot at some point. Okay, 
ferrite dust. How are we on ferrite? Oh, are you little carbon doodles? Oxygen as well. Never hurts to have extra oxygen. Hey! Things! What is the thing? It's that thing. Okay, I've scanned you. You are a dangerous thing. Whoa, 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 easy there. That needs an atlas pass. Dadgummit. Yes, yes, I know. Hey! Free condensed carbon, that is awesome. What are you? You are copper. Whoa, that's a big bird. Can I scan the big bird? Before I freeze? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Scan the thing. Hustle back to the ship. Yeah, it's scruffy. Cool, cool. Let's check our inventory here. Let's see, we've got a... Where did we get that? Why do we have so many of those? Neat. All right. Uh, ammo for a gun we can't fire. Paraffinium that I could have sold. Condensed carbon, not enough. Sorry, I cannot read and think at the same time. It's very sad. Uh, I have heard of sword art online. I've not delved into it. Okay, the Mordite we don't really need right now. Paraffinium I have not found a use for. I really need to go back to my old file. Uh, we need lots of carbon. And we need condensed carbon. And for antimatter... Nope, that's the wrong button. We need not a lot more condensed carbon. Hmm. Unfortunately, we need lots of carbon in general. So, we're going to get out of hell. More of that dingle. Scan a tree. And get us some carbon. Do, 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 do. Boop. And again. Do, 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 do. Okay, so it's kind of like Matrix meets Second Life. Ooh, we're getting frost crystals. Or third one. Okay. Get this. Come on. Kill the tree, kill the tree, kill the tree. Alright. Let's go make us some condensed carbon. Put you right... Cha? 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 Thank you. And put you in. And fuel you with you. And begin. And get into our nice toasty spaceship. And we can see it doing its thing. Watch the birds question mark fly by and we can see if this planet has been named yet that's the wrong button dad gum it make sure I didn't mess up the stream
Uh, walk and chew bubblegum, scruffy man, you're asking a lot of me in one stream, man, just, I don't know. What's the button for the, there we go. Alright, this planet can be renamed. Sonic Fizz, you're the new kid on the block, what should we name our new planet? And just for reference, Boring Namak, Ralph 2, and Taffy388, I believe, were all named by wonderful patrons, along with the Hyperfunk Zone system name. Ah, Sonic Fist Pass. Scruffy, you want to get on on it? You want to name the planet? Okie dokie. My dude. Done. All right. So, the beautiful, frigid planet of my dude. And just in time for some condensed carbon. Boop. Boop. Pick this up. Nope, wrong button. Honestly, it's been a while since I've played, to be truthful. I've been busy with other things. Alright, so now we can make ourselves some antimatter. Boop! Can we make two? No, no. Alright, now to make hyperfuel. We need antimatter housing. Ah, uh, so you're using my stream to advertise your Nuzlocke. That's cool. That's fine. So what you're saying, Sonic Fizz, is it's inescapable. And I need ferrite dust, because you always need frickin' ferrite dust. Are you ferrite tea? What do you have? Wait, you're pure ferrite? It's neat, but that doesn't help me. What are you? Very nice. There we go. Now uh, you need to chill out in a Nuzlocke run, so that makes sense. And now I need to recharge my laser. Alright, let's make some antimatter housing. Boop! And now let's make some warp fuel. Boop! And now let's go recharge your ship. All right, now we can do a thing. Yes, that sounds familiar, Scruffy. You've lost more than Motham at this point, I take it. Let us leave this frigid... Ah, oh, you're frabbing, really? Not the Magmator! I like Magmator. Our pulse engine is just about out of juice. Oh, I have a hermetic seal. 
I need more max seal, so. Okay. What do you mean, not enough? There we go. Don't tell me I'm not enough. Whoosh! Alright, I'm going to stop here in this meteor field to farm some titrium so that we can fly places. Chat, I'm going to let you decide if we instantly go to the galaxy map and fly around a bit, or if we should explore the planets. Because there seems to be multiple planets in this system. We got one over there, and one over there, and one over there. And we just came off of that one. And what are you? What, what is that? Space station? No, can't. F wrong kind of meat, to be honest there, Scruffy. Sonic Fizz, I have played the demo. And it just reaffirmed the fact that I am spectacularly awful at Mega Man. Like, just stunningly, bafflingly awful at Mega Man. Why are you guys not blowing up? You're within range. I also need to be careful not to overfill my inventory. Oh, shoot. All right, decision made for us. Right for the planet. Yeah. Hey, that almost looks like he's got to move. Ah! Go, 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 go. Sonic Fizz, I had it on newcomer difficulty. Could not beat Blockman. That is how abysmally awful I am at that game. The most hand-holdy possible game mode. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to this planet now that we have outrun the pirates. This looks like Earth. This is kind of creeping me out a little. I mean, I know, yeah, the the, uh, the, the what you call it, continents aren't right, but alright, well, since the pirate is gone, let us refill our fuel. And three, two, one, go, which Now, it's obviously an Earth-like. We see blue oceans, we see land, the question is going to be, is it a nice Earth-like? Or is it going to be one of those stupid Earth-likes that has boiling rain every ten minutes? Oh, I have never claimed to be good at Mega Man. Never. Yeah, Scruffy, I think that changed when their player base became more of I don't have time to play game. Brutal difficulty is more frustrating than it is fun. I can take my business elsewhere, you know? And if you want a challenge, I can understand it. Not every month's a cakewalk or just a time waster, but... Uh, oh, neat! Look at this. Natural bridge. Let's fly out. Oh, wow. We almost crashed. Hmm. I'm going a little fast. I'd like a landmass larger than my apartment. No. No. Sonic Fizz, start racking your brain, because the minute I land, you're going to name this planet. You're going to do it. I believe in you. Are those floating islands? Yes, they are. We are going to land on that. We are totally going to land on that. That's cool. Neat. 
why are you up here? Neat, neat, and cool. What interesting rocks do we have to scan? Now I do need more ferrite dust to make more go juice, so let's go ahead and do that. Can I make go juice? Yes, I can. Let's, uh, dihydrogen can go over into the ship. What do you mean, out of range? It's right there. Do I not have the teleporter? Scruffy, if Sonic Fizz doesn't want to think of a planet name, you're next. Ferrite dust? That's pure ferrite dust. That doesn't do me much good. Cargo's full. Well, what do you say, Sound Fez? You want to name this place Dark Mobius? For giggles? Boom! Done! Grab a little bit more ferrite dust while we're here. And what do you think? Do you want to go on to the next planet, or do you want to go to the next star system? Now, in the old book, it was a continent. A whole continent was called Down Under. Ouch. You're quoting. You're quoting the book. Takes a while, but I catch on eventually. Oh, wait, no, I need to make these things. What do you mean, missing component? I need more? How much does this take? I need 15 for it, that's not right. Yeah, yeah, scam me all you want. I need nine for it, that's really. What can I say, Scruffy? It was another time. I need one ferrite dust. This is ridiculous. Are you scannable? What does it want me to scan? Is wrong with wombat stew. Really? Really? Nothing wrong. Nothing whatsoever. Now we're gonna ignore you and grab some water. 
Well, I guess we have to ignore you because we can't actually shoot you, come to think of it. Ow. I think the true loss of it all, though, with all the reboots and whatnot, there's no more Guru Emu. You don't talk about chill, brah. Shaw, he was like, he knew, like, stuff and things. <laughs> Did they actually make a Wombat Stew, or is that just silly? Leave that guy alone. Neat. Oh, look at the beach. Look at the beach. Look at the beach. Blue sand. That's cool. Well, thank you, Scruffy. I'm glad you enjoyed. What are you, strange cactus? Just cactus. Are you condensed carbon? I scanned you already. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. I scanned you. Be scanned. Give me money. I'm being shot. Oop. Come on, 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 come on. Come on. Eh. Fine. Leave that one alone. Ah, they're critters. I want to scan the critters. What in the world are those? What's it with people's fascinations of writing predator prey scenarios, you know? You're the, all the same species, really? Alright, would you. Oh, shoot, my health is actually getting kind of low. Get in the ship, get in the ship, get in the ship! And I'm out of fuel. Well, I appreciate the review, Scruffy. Oh, I can do this with, uh, no. Well, since you can go with Pyrite. Cool. Thrusters can go with Fuel. <clears throat> yeah, Scruffy, we, <laughs> as previously mentioned, we don't want to die here. I also want to go into space just yet. Sentinels are a pain in the butt to dogfight with. The Sentinels are just anywhere and everywhere. And depending on what planet you're on, depends on how aggressive they are. Most of them are fairly docile. They just don't like it when you kill animals or harvest plants or rocks. But there was one planet I ran onto that uh, they just didn't like your face. Period. And depending on how many you have pissed off, will change the types and numbers you encounter. I don't want silver. I would really, really like some titrium. Please? Pretty please? The sugar on top? Well, we don't know that planet. Let's go see it. Do, 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 in... Four, three, two, one, whoosh! Sonic Fizz. We were all waiting for that adaptation. Howdy, Mike! Welcome to the stream!
We are in the patron named Hyperfunk Zone Galaxy, well, star system. Jumping around planets real quick. Since you just got here, Mike, start thinking about what you want to name this planet that we're heading right for. Oh, come on, dude. Go, 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 go. Quick, quick, quick. Fast, fast, fast. Ignore the dude. Ignore the dude. No, you don't see my sodium. You don't... Why would you want to attack me for sodium? Ah, go. Oh, that's a bunch of dudes. Oh, that was a bunch of dudes I do not want to deal with. Go, 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 go. Uh, Sonic Fed is until the book gets picked up again. Uh, <laughs> I guess they are. All right, Sonic Fans, thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. We'll see you for the next stream. Planet Wombat, says Mike B. All right. Hey, we outran the pirates. I wonder if they get faster later in the game, or if you're always able to skedaddle. And if you can always outrun them, that takes the peril away just a little bit. This does not look like a hospitable world. This is looking a little dicey. Yeah, I think Planet Wombat is definitely a step up from Blizzb. What was that? 15? Ooh, Icy World. But it has floating formations, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. A little quick flyby. Standing water, that's pretty neat. Bunch of trees. Yeah, let's land over here. Oh. Well then, be that way. We'll land by the lake. Let's see what up over there. Okay. It is currently what? Minus sixty, more or less. I'm just gonna name it and get out of here. Wait, oh, we have to set foot on the planet, don't we? Uh, scan, yes, yes, yes. We, you know, it, it's important and breathtaking and whatnot. Are you already aggressive? Oh, look at the butterflies. I have not seen butterflies before. That's cool. I cannot scan the butterflies because they keep flying all over the place. Hold still. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, we got butterflies. That is actually the name of the ship, Mike. I forget which stream and who it was, but one of the patrons named our ship. Please don't crash. All right, so Planet Wombat. Done. I think there was like one more planet in this system. I was going to investigate the water. Oh well. Look at all that majesty. 
right, so that is what? Let's take an account. That's Dark Mobius. That was by Sonic Fizz. That is unknown. All right, keep that in mind. Not the space station. That's another unknown. My dude. Yep. Unknown. But we just. I thought that was the planet we just came off of. Are we missing one? Because that's Wombat. How did I get all <laughs> disoriented? What are you? What are you? What are you? Unknown. Alright. Only way to get there is to get there. Get my new book, Ian's Inspirational Stupid Quotes, any day now. You can't get there unless you get there. Time is fun when you're having flies. Other witty things that just come off the top of my head. Make something up and claim it was me. I remember playing Rogue Squadron and being so excited that you had like a mini game of the T-16 and it was like garbage. It's like, yeah, Luke's got to be a great pilot if he was able to do anything in that. And we're out of fuel again. And I don't want to spend half an hour flying to Unknown. Where are some rocks to shoot for Gojus? Ah, oh, come on, really? Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do, 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 do. Stay on target. Stay on target. I am not going down like this. Where did the planet go? Dead gummit. Where is it on my bloody radar? I don't want to stop to reposition myself. So there's that one. I don't want that one. Yipe! I don't think either of those are what we were aiming for. No, it's not, because that's got the space station. Where is that stinking planet? Is that it? That's a big meteorite. Meteor. Asteroid. Man, wouldn't it be funny if they couldn't fly through that hole. That would be hilarious. Not gonna stay to find out. What are you, planet? Or is that the one we just came from? That's freaking Wombat! There it is. Come here. No, 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 no. Turn. Turn. Oh, the pirates are gone. Fly through here. I got a little bit of titrin. Is that enough to get us to the planet? Let's find out. Boop, 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 boop. I have not tested that, Scruffy. And given this file, I don't want to. Uh, part of the issue being that in my regular file where I would respawn, I could try it, except all your inventory gets dumped in some kind of sarcophagus and it would be impossible to find again. I suppose I could start up a secondary file, tertiary file at this point. No, Scruffy, this is the permadeath file. If I'm going to go out 
flying into a star incredibly stupidly is tempting. But no. No, 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 no. Try to keep our momentum up while we look for more fuel. I didn't even see what we got off the last rock. Arrgh. Hard to shoot rock while flying very fast. If I have to die in this file, it's either going to be something monument- Oh, come on! Monumentally stupid and unfair. Or blaze of glory flying straight into a sun. Why do you put these ideas in my head? No, why did I go low speed? No, no, no. No, no, no. Ah! Did I actually do damage or was that just a. Can you have a week in space? From this angle, that enemy ship almost looks like a f Serenity. Guys, I just want to land on that, like, pitch black planet. Is that too much to ask? Seriously, that almost looks like venom from here. Yeah. I thought that was star specs flying around me. They're actually shooting at me. Oh, snap. Go, 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 And they're not following me anymore. Cool. Titrium, please. Thank you. Alright, this should be enough. He said. Assuming. I have Scruffy, and Kyle and I will be talking about it on the Bumblecast tomorrow. Are you really going to give out 10 seconds before? 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, you! No, seriously, this planet looks like pitch black with white markings. It's freaking the Venom planet. Or Oreo. Planet Oreo. Oh, man. Planet of Oreo. Ooh. That's a dangerous thought. Man, why did I have to say Oreo Planet? Eh, might as well save it. We've got enough velocity. It's like it's got a crumb cookie out of shell. Delicious, fluffy. It's not marshmallow. Cream clouds. Mm, might have to run to the grocery store after this. I like how I'm talking about cookie planets and scruffy. That is going crazy. You still with us, Mike? Because you got dibs to name this thing, otherwise I'm totally naming this Oreo. It's not quite so Oreo-y on the surface, but... Is that copper? Hey, Mike! Okay, what do you want to name this thing? What was that? What was that? 
Is that copper? Because boy, could we use some chromatic metal. Yes. All right. Come on. Bring up the menu. Not Samotau. Oreo. Unfortunately not sponsored. Is there a trademark in here somewhere? No. Oh well, would have been funny. Alright, so... Not bolt caster, not mining beam. Wait, does this thing not have... It doesn't have the thing! It doesn't... Oh, no! When we traded it, it didn't have the terrain manipulator. Oh, no. Okay. Can we craft that? We need jelly and nanotubes. We need more carbon. And there is no carbon on this rock. Son of a... <sighs> Phase on Mike, not that I've run into. There's um, some kind of xenomorphy type bug aliens that if you disturb their... What is that over there? That if you disturb their eggs, they spawn endlessly and tear you to shreds pretty quickly. And if you manage to harvest a certain drop from their eggs... That's a whispering egg. Oh, this could be bad. Yeah, we could, Scruffy, but... Oh! Well... I... That was the wrong type of egg. Run! Run, run, run! Oh, no! No! No, that was the wrong egg! That was the... Oh, no! Well... What did I say, Scruffy? If I'm gonna go out... Might as well be doing something stupid. God! Frickin'... Mike, that was the xenomorph egg I was just talking about. On other planets, you can find something called a humming egg. That's what it was. Humming egg. Humming eggs have super rare, expensive drops. Whispering eggs spawn things. We just got that antimatter thingy. Oh, well, the good news is <coughs> all those planets we uploaded, they stay uploaded. Those are, those are ours forever and ever. They are part of the universe. Bad news is I gotta start all over again. Son of a stinking spacefaring well, <sighs> what do you want to do, guys? Do you want to start up a new file, or do you want to see what I've got going on in my regular file for the next 20 minutes or so? Can't believe that. Freaking alien. Just sitting out in the open. They don't show up away from human bases. Uh, options are to start a new file for future Bumblecasts or to go into my regular file and just 
mess around. Why was that egg out in the middle of nowhere? Why could I not remember the adjective? Adverb? Humming whispering. Adverb, yeah. Stinking frickin' frackin' blarpin'. Uh, well, for the sake of the video, we're just gonna jump into this. We're just gonna mess around in my file. Where I can die, but it won't matter as much. Can't freaking believe that. They're always around human installations, or, you know, installations of some sort with, like, goo on the consoles, and... <laughs> Dead frabbing staggerific XP Alidocious. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? We got Micropressor, Viking Effigy, Gek Relic, we got stuff for low on carbon... Why do we have unstable plasma? We have a cargo. Oh, we got lots of carbon. Okay, cool. We got our Atlas Pass. Da 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 da. Uh, do we have any quests going on? What is... I don't... I think I want to fight space pirates right now. New features for finding substances. Log. Here we go. Oh man, I got a bunch of side missions. Base computer archives. Okay. Open that? I cannot. Alright, so let's just go back to one of my bases. And whoosh. Kinda hate Sonic Fizz missed out on that. At the same time, kinda glad he didn't have to see that. Ah. Uh. You are a prophet, Scruffy. Uh, embarrassing. I, you're right, I should have flown into the sun. At least I would have controlled my demise. Teleporting to my base, teleporting to my base. All we need now is a TARDIS flying along. Whoa! Swarm subsiding, that's ominous. We're... Oh, that's right, I didn't actually build a base, I just put a computer out here. Uh, use space station terminus to teleport to base any time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? So what does it want me to do? Is 
Search Base Computer Archives. Does recover ground? Yeah, so. Give me a blueprint. Da 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 da. Space station. Up up and no 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 Why is it not giving me the thing? I guess I'll go to the other base. Because why not? Ooh, are there pirates on the surface? base is half an hour away. We're not going to wait that long. Do, 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 go into orbit. Um, who's contacting me? Currently flying at the ground, Polo. Want to hurry it up? Mm hmm. Okay, we'll worry about that later. Alright, at high thrust, that's going to take us uh, three minutes. Don't want to wait that long. Ah. I have not Scruffy. <laughs> Mike, you know what? I'm just going to say yes. I'm just going to say yes. Might as well be slippy. No, nah, it's part of the plot line for the story. There's a couple of aliens on a spaceship that usually is hiding out somewhere. And he gives you major upgrades as the story goes on. Or as you reach certain milestones. So we park at the station here so that you don't have to pay for fuel to launch. Whooshy doodles. So why did it teleport me to that base instead of this base? Why did I have an angry animal? Is there something hunting me? I've not seen that icon before. What in the world? Hold on, hold on. Can we get a good look at this thing, or is it... Is it gone? Might be gone. No, it's over there. What is this? I don't think I can get up here, so I guess we're okay. New data available! Saw another one of them today on the space station. They looked at me like there wasn't there, started writing just gack when I returned, imagining things. Alright, blueprints reassembled. Appearance modifier plans restored. Buildable module that allows you just their personal appearance settings multiply. Uh, you can do that on a space station though. And space stations are pretty ubiquitous, so why would you wanna. Okie dokie. I kind of want to know what that thing is.
And this is not a permadeath file, so we'll go investigate. What is that? Oh, God! Scan it, scan it, scan it, scan it, scan it, scan it, ow! Scan it, scan it, scan it, scan it, scan it, ow! Scan it. Scan the horrible thing so I can kill it. Intelligent. It needs odd bones. Night God! No, you. You are a horrid thing. You are to die. It is a crab spider lily pad monstrosity, and I have no regrets. Ha! Well, all right, I guess that's a good note to end it on. We have successfully vanquished the spider thingy. We have died in our main file. If they had family, Scruffy, I'll kill them later. This is going to be uh, it for Bumblecast Gaming tonight. Thank you for joining me. And we will see you all next time. Have a good night, guys.